is no escape, nor do we want it. We've come to thrive on it and each other. You can't get the adrenaline pumping without the terror, good people. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Hall here today, and today we're looking at the Scanner Cop set. Now, this is from Vinegar Syndrome. Look at this thing. This is Scanner Cop 1 and 2, and uh, it is a beauty. So, I've talked about Vinegar Syndrome before. They're a company that I love, but I don't purchase a whole lot of stuff from them uh, because their their movies vary in quality, and I respect that. They will put out anything to keep the preservation of cinema alive, and that's awesome. Uh, but here's the thing. I am a big Scanners fan. David Cronenberg wrote Scanners, made Scanners one of the greatest movies ever from its time. Scanners 2 and 3, which had a Scream Factory double pack come out, I was a big fan of those too. I like Scanners 3 more than Scanners 2, believe it or not. Um, and I had not seen the Scanner Cops. Now, this is, in fact, in the world of Scanners. Uh, you know, uh, the pro- one of the guys who was a producer from the original Scanners film uh, worked on these too. So it's in technically canon in the world of Scanners, um, but they have their own story. Um, so let's talk briefly about the movies, then I'll kind of give you my review of them, and then, uh, we'll go over this set. So the first one is Scanner Cop that comes in this set, and I love this movie. Scanner Cop is really cool. You've got this father and son in the beginning of the film, and they're, they're hard up. They have no money, the dad's losing his cool because he doesn't have the money to get his medicine to try to curve the the pain from being a scanner and hearing everything and it's just driving him crazy and the poor kid is just he's struggling he's struggling and he's going to become our main character we have this huge blowout the dad gets killed the kid goes to live with a cop in the movie that feels bad for the kid grows up to be a cop and he's a good scanner he's a good scanner he's the scanner cop which threw me off because i was expecting this to basically be Maniac cop or psycho cop, just a crazy bad cop. But in this one, the cop is a good cop and he's a scanner. So that's really cool. Now, the, gr- the great thing about this first movie, and uh, which is this one, Scanner Cop, is the bad guy is Richard Lynch. Now, if you know who Richard Lynch is, you are never disappointed with him. He's a fantastic actor. He's in such classics like Bad Dreams, which if you haven't seen Bad Dreams, check that out. But he wants to stop the police force, and he is using this agent to trigger people to kill cops whenever they see a badge or their outfit, and it's all mind delusion that he's doing. And the the people can't figure out what's going on, but the only person who can is our main lead, who is a scanner, and he can figure out who's causing all this ruckus, and we're we're trying to figure out how to stop him. So I'll kind of stop there with the story on Scanners 1, Scanner Cop 1, excuse me, um, this was a fun movie. Now, this was a mid-90s VHS blockbuster rental movie. So in terms of general movies, I would say it's a solid five or a six in terms of just good entertainment. But in terms of like a Vinegar Syndrome level movie, it's an 11. I mean, it's a movie movie, you know? Because like I said, Vinegar Syndrome will put out a number of types of films. But Scanner Cop was a great film from the Vinegar Syndrome Library. Probably one of the best that they've put out ever. Uh, so, yeah, so let's look at the Blu-ray real quick of Scanner Cop 1. Now, these are 4Ks, but they do include a Blu-ray. Everything is nice on this. This is the slip cover featuring classic artwork from the film. So here's the 4K, and it does reverse to have this artwork as well on the inside. Uh, and they do come with Blu-rays. Um, excuse me, my Blu-ray was in the player right now because I was watching the documentaries. All the special features are on the Blu-rays, okay? Uh, The 4K has the movie, but if you want to watch the special features, basically if you want to watch the uh, making ofs and the commentaries, you got to do it on the Blu-ray. So Scanner Cop was great. I loved it. Uh, Richard Lynch is a great villain. And then we've got Scanner Cop 2. After this, we'll go over the special features. Scanner Cop 2 sees a bad scanner arrive, and he is deadly. Now this guy, I believe he is... Actually, Patrick Kilpatrick, uh, the cop from this movie. This is the cover for Scanner Cop 2, which is reversible art on the box. Just an, an amazing set. I do know that the the bad guy in this movie was Mr. Sandman in um, Death Warrant, a great Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Now, Scanner Cop 2 literally stays, quality-wise, the same as Scanner Cop 1. Same, exact same. It's just a different story, but our lead is back. Uh, Daniel Quinn, who is our Scanner Cop, he's back. It's good. 
this one's good. Uh, it's more of a focused movie with fighting this one bad scanner guy. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to spoil too much because if I, I'm assuming not a lot of people have seen these movies. It seems like they jumped straight to 4K. I don't know if these got a DVD. I'm sure they had VHS as they had to have, but I don't know. So I think this was a pretty big leap. So I don't think a lot of people have seen these movies. So I don't want to spoil it. But literally, quality-wise, exactly the same. It's like they had the dollar amount, same budget. Uh, good acting. Great special effects in this movie. I know that uh, John Carl B- Buechler's team did the effects on Scanner Cop 1. They might have done it on Scanner Cop 2. I can't remember, but I wouldn't be surprised because the effects looked exactly the same. These are really fun movies, okay? Now, if you've seen the first Scanners and you haven't done two or three, it's okay. You don't need to. You can watch the Scanner Cop films because they're their own thing. But these movies were great. So here's the artwork on Scanner Cop 2. I mean, just the slip covers are amazing. They're like indest- they're like bulletproof. Blu-ray, of course, you can reverse it to have that artwork as well on it. And these are amazing. So I would give Scanner Cop 2 another 5 out of 6. In terms of general movies, Vinegar Syndromes, these are both 11s. I mean, seriously, they're great. I mean, the packaging is insane, so... Like I said, the box on this thing is, I mean, r- ridiculous. But it's got the artwork from Scanner Cop 1 and then Scanner Cop 2. Now, I don't buy a whole lot of Vinegar Syndrome. So, I, when I, when being a huge Scanners fan, when I saw this set, I was like, this is me all day. Uh, I, I, I couldn't pass it up. Could not pass it up. Now, these releases are stacked. So, let's talk about it. Um, special features, like I said, they're on the Blu-ray discs. Outside the Law, The Scanner Cops Revolution, Part 1, Extended Making of Documentary, featuring interviews with producer-director Pierre David, Hilary Shepard, Mark uh, Rolston, Richard Grove, special effect artist Ted Haynes, special effects Jim Rowland, stunt coordinator Jeff Pruitt, director Steve, Steve Barnett from Scanner Cop 2, screenwriter Simon Barrett, original promotional video and commentary track by We Hate Movies Podcast, which was a hilarious commentary track. And uh, it was stacked. The making ofs are what you want. I mean, if it, when I buy a special edition movie, I want a documentary. I want the making up. Now, for Scanner Cop 2, the showdown, commentary track with the director, Steve Bardet, Outside the Law, The Scanner Cop Revolution Part 2, extended making of documentary featuring interviews with Steve Barnett, Pierre David, actor Patrick Kilpatrick, Christine Haji, St- Stephen Mendel, Richard Bowers, special effect artist Jeff Farley, makeup effects artist Tom Irvin, special effects jo- James Rowland, and screenwriter Simon Barnett. So, I mean, these are literally, I mean, this is like Scream Factory 2013-14, where every movie that came out, it had a great making of documentary, and you learned everything you wanted to know. This set is amazing. I, I, I really love this Scanner Cop set. I mean, it is gorgeous. I'm so glad I got these because I liked the movies. You know, so often we may buy movies where the, it's the most amazing presentation, and then we're like, oh, man. But we didn't really love the movies, but I love these. If you're a Scanners fan, these will these will do a good job. Because guess what? You can't have a Scanners movie unless a dude's head explodes. And not only do you have great special effects in this movies, in these movies, you get exploding heads. And it does not disappoint. So the Scanner Cop movies are awesome. I mean, this is a must from Vinegar Syndrome, in my opinion. Because I think it's an amazing set. These are good movies. Great 90s blockbuster rental style horror movies. And they'll deliver. I mean, I think you. these are great popcorn flicks. So I'm so glad I got this. The Scanner Cops, love them to death. I actually like them more than Scanners 2. And they're on par with Scanners 3, which I love Scanners 3. But the first is the greatest. David's Cronenberg Scanners is amazing. I love the set. These 4Ks looked amazing. Let's get that right out of the gate. I mean, they were 4Ks. They're not a gimmick. I mean, 4K, when it's done right, it's amazing. The Blu-rays look 95% as good, but 4K, if you have a 4K TV and player, you'll notice that extra oomph. But uh, if you don't, if you have Blu-rays, they'll still look amazing because they're obviously 4K scans. And uh, yeah, but I love this set. No no expense spared on it. The Scanner Cop 1 and 2 Blu- uh, 4K box set. Great special features. Awesome fun movies. Great makeup effects. Exploding heads. Scanner Cop. I loved it. So glad I got this. So this is the Vinegar Syndrome set, guys. If you don't have it, I highly recommend going for it. You won't be disappointed. Check this out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're a fan of Scanner Cops, let me know. If you're a fan of Scanners, this set is for you. I mean, it is for you. 
So, uh, yeah, this is Christian Hannah Hoare. So happy to have that in my collection. We'll see you guys next time.